T6 is the delay trim, and what this does is it sets the amount of delay signal that's getting blended with dry, unaffected signal within the circuit. Okay, and the idea, the goal here, is to have a 50-50 mix. You want to have uh, the delay signal and the dry signal to be of equal magnitude, in other words. And uh, there's not a, uh, a dry signal trim. There's, there's only this delay trim on the circuit board. And so uh, to make this adjustment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this all the way down. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to I'm going to turn the uh, enhanced trim pot down a little bit. I don't want to have too much regeneration going on when I set the level because this the regeneration does contribute to level a lot. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to turn the enhanced trim fully clockwise, which is all the way down, and I'm going to keep the enhanced panel control at 100%. Okay, so that's that's a medium amount of regeneration. Now, I'm going to turn the delay plot, the delay trim pot, fully clockwise. Okay, now you don't hear the flanging at all. This is this is just the dry signal going through. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the level of the dry signal using a decibel meter. I'm actually using. Uh, the, uh, the level meters, I'm going to use the level meters in my recording software uh, to measure the level of the dry signal and then I'm going to turn the delay trim up so that the signal is the same level as the dry signal. Uh, let, me, let me pan up to the uh, to my software just to and I'll explain this a little bit more. Okay. So here's my level meter and I have this level meter set up to capture the peak level. You can see a little line here. Each time the, the meter bumps up, that line captures the largest or the most, uh, the strongest sound value, and it displays it in this number here in decibels. So right now, the clean signal on its own is, it's got a peak level of about minus 8.2 decibels. Okay. Now, I want the delay signal to be of equal magnitude, and I know that if you add two signals of equal magnitude together, what you end up with is overall a three decibel increase, okay? So if I turn the delay trim pot up to start increasing the magnitude of the delay signal, I'm going to go up to minus 5.1 decibels, in other words, a three decibel increase, and that'll mean that the dry signal and the delay signal will be of equal levels, hence there'll be a 50-50 wet-dry mix. So I'm going to turn, start turning the delay trim pot counterclockwise. Okay, I overshot it a little bit, so I'm going to back off and reset the meter. I'm going to come up again. Oh, looks like I overshot it again. Okay. I come up a little bit more. I'm not going to spend a lot of time nailing this perfectly, but I think you get the idea, hopefully. Um, okay. So that should give you a 50-50 mix. Once you, once you get uh, that three decibel increase by adding in the delay signal, that's that's your 50-50 mix, okay? So now we've got the delay trim set. So, this is where we're at. We've got T4 and T5 set. We set the minimum and maximum clock frequencies. We set up T1, we set the bias. We set up T3, we adjust, adjust to adjust the symmetry. And we set T6 so that we had a, that 50-50 wet-dry mix coming through the effect. Now, the, the last thing to adjust here, well, not really the last, but is the enhanced trim pot. And this will set the maximum amount of regeneration that you'll hear. Okay, we want to do this again with the enhanced pot at 100%, fully up, and turn T2, the enhanced trim, 
counterclockwise to increase the amount of regeneration. Okay, and again, be careful. You can get some loud volume spikes. trim turned up all the way okay now if I want to get more regeneration out of this what I can do is increase the delay trim I'm gonna turn that up a little bit Capability. If you have that capability dialed in on the circuit board, you can always turn the panel pot down, okay, so that you don't overdo it, okay? So I'm going to stick with that. 